टाइम कीपर वॉट दैट पर्सन विल डू इज गोइंग टू राइट डाउन द टाइम ऑफ अराइवल और द टाइम ऑफ डिपार्चर ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी एम्प्लॉयज वो वर्क इन ए पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री और इन ए पर्टिकुलर कंपनी लेबर कॉस्ट कार्ड a one in one card all the employees details will be mentioned so what is the formula under holsey plan to calculate the wages it is very simple the formula is time taken into time taken into hourly rate hello everyone i am arun kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore Dear students, welcome to this new session on unit number three, session one. The topic is employee cost. Yes, dear students, in this particular session, we are going to discuss about what is this employee cost, and also we are going to call the employee cost as labor cost. Okay, we we'll, are going to call it as labor cost. So in this session, we will be learning about what is labor cost or employee cost, and in what way we are going to calculate the wages of the employees. whether it's on piece rate system or whether it's based on the time whatever the time taken by the employee on time basis system so firstly we are going to discuss about the meaning of employee cost okay we all know what is cost cost is nothing but expenditure right or some amount spent on purchasing an article is called cost right amount spent on purchasing an article is called cost so here what is labor cost yes the amount spent the amount spent on the employees or on the laborers is called employee cost or labor cost so here you can see this is the cost incurred in the form of remuneration paid to the employees or laborers of the organization which, which is the cost employee cost or the labor cost is a cost incurred in the form of remuneration paid to the employees or to the laborers of the organization so em employee cost is nothing but it is a cost paid to the employees in the form of remuneration who are working in a organization that is called employee cost or labor cost okay by continuing the workforce required to convert materials into finished products is called labor yes without laborers or without employees right without laborers or without employees not possible to convert the raw material into finished goods so if you want to convert the raw materials into finished goods is obviously required laborers so without laborers it's highly impossible so whatever the labor you are going to use for converting the raw material into finished goods okay that is called labor okay it can be direct or indirect yes just to convert a raw material into finished goods just people or the laborers who works in a production department is not only important and others also important in an organization there will be so many people there will be so many employees who are working in different different departments so the people who are going to help to convert the raw material into finished goods whether directly or indirectly so every person or every employee is going to call as the labor for purpose of converting the raw material into finished goods direct labor so what is this direct labor the portion of wages and salaries which can be identified and charged to a single cost unit yes the people who are directly directly engaged in manufacturing the particular product or whom they are directly involved in manufacturing a particular product they are going to be called as the direct laborers and indirect laborers so who are called indirect laborers who cannot be directly related with the production of specific goods or services yes the people who cannot be directly related with the production of specific goods or services for example the people who are working in manufacturing unit or in the production department they are called direct laborers because they will be converting the raw materials to finished goods here we have few examples like foreman storekeeper time keeper these people were also working towards converting the raw material into finished goods but they were not coming to the lime blade so those people were also called as laborers but they are called indirect labor so now what is the meaning of employee cost or labor cost labor cost is nothing but the amount spent 
the amount spent on labors for converting the raw materials into finished goods it is called labor cost right and in labor cost we have two type direct labor and indirect labor so direct labor the people or the employees who directly involved in you know, converting the raw material into finished goods those people are called direct laborers and the employees who are indirectly helping to achieve the goal they are called indirect laborers moving further methods of time keeping so what is this time keeping one person will be appointed as a time keeper what that person will do he is going to write down the time of arrival or the time of departure of a, each and every employees who are working in a particular industry or in a particular company that is called time keeping so we have different methods in time keeping so the first thing is clock cards so what is this clock cards so clock cards is nothing but a card will be given a particular card will be given to the employee so always the employee should carry that card with him so whenever he is getting into the company he is supposed to give that card to the punching machine that punching machine will punch the time at whatever the time the employee gets in and if you want some break again you want to go and punch the cards in a time machine the time machine will punch whatever the time is going out and at the time of completion of work at the time of going back to the home again he is supposed to go and punch the card with the time machine so what will happen here every time when he gets in and he gets out so he is supposed to give that card to the you know time machine and time machine will punch the time whatever the time is coming in and whatever the time is going out that is called clock cards second one token or disk method so token or disk method a metal disk or a metal token will be given to the employee a metal token will be given to the employee in that particular token the name of the employee or a photograph of the employee employee number everything will be written in that particular token so what the employee is supposed to do whenever employee gets into the company he is supposed to hang that you know particular token in a specific place wherever the employee is going to give some place to hang that so there he is supposed to hang that and he is supposed to get into his work whenever he is going back again that will be written to the employee again for the next year to come back and he have to hang that token and he is supposed to get into the work so that is called token or disk method next one attendance records yes obviously all will be knowing in your class itself the teacher will be taking the attendance to clarify that and to make sure that whether you are present in the classroom or not right so in the same way whenever the employee gets in the attendance will be taken his name will be written in the registrar and whenever he gets in he is supposed to go and sign in his registrar so that sign is nothing but he is present if if it is not signed then it shows that it is not he is not present that particular employee is not present so attendance records is nothing but a register will be maintained and the employee is supposed to come and sign in that particular register and this attendance method is old as old when the company started they started you know keeping this attendance registered so that they can record all the details of the employees that is when you know how many days you worked in a month and that will be sent to the you know uh, hr department so that they can make the payment to the employee so these are the different methods or the three types of methods what we have in time keeping so time booking records so time booking records in time booking system maintain the records of each workers productive time spent by workers in the factory yes so the next thing after time keeping is time booking so what is the time booking time booking is nothing but in time keeping system maintain the records of each workers productive time spent the workers in the factory that means whatever the productive time spent by the workers that will be accurately maintained and that will be accurately the details will be stored in the company next the methods of time booking so we have different methods so whatever the time is spent on a particular work or on the different works that time will be you know maintained by a time keeper that is called 
time booking. So in time booking, we have different methods. The first one is daily time sheet. So what is this daily time sheet? Daily time sheet is nothing but a particular sheet will be given. A particular sheet or a form will be given to the employee on daily basis. In that, the name of the employee, employee number, employee address, everything will be written. And the employee is supposed to write there about the time of arrival and how many hours you worked and what is the time of departure. So that each and every information will be available to the employer about the employee's work on daily basis. So every day is supposed to take this time sheet that is the daily time sheet and is supposed to enter all the details with respect to his work for that particular day. Next, the second one, weekly time sheet. So what is this weekly time sheet? Weekly time sheet is nothing but instead of instead of writing the details on daily basis, the employees is asked to write the details on weekly basis. So you used to write or used to fill seven forms in a week, but in weekly time sheets, one sheet will be provided to write all the details with respect to that particular week work. So for that particular week, for six days, what and all the work he did, on what time he entered and what time he exit and for how many hours he worked, every details will be you know written in a one form on weekly basis. So here on daily basis, you used to get daily, you used to get separate sheets. But in weekly time sheet, one sheet will be given. In that one sheet, all the details should be entered by the employee about what is the time he gets in on everyday basis and what is the time he used to you know, go out or departure on daily basis. Next, job ticket. So what is this job ticket? Job ticket is nothing but a particular card will be issued, a particular card will be issued to the employee so that the employee will be entering all the details with respect to what and all the work done by the employee. For example, if he's working in different departments, for how many work, how many hours he worked, for how many hours he worked in each department. So every details will be entered in the job ticket. Next, labor cost card. So what is this labor cost card? In daily time sheet and in weekly time sheet, the sheet will be given to a particular employee. But here in labor cost card, a one in one card, all the employees details will be mentioned. Okay, all the employees names will be mentioned. So the card will be passed on from one employee to the one employee so that each employee is supposed to write their you know arrival time and departure time so that the company will get to know what is the total labor cost incurred for that particular duration for one week or for one month or for one day that is called labor cost card where all the details of all the employees will be written in one card and that card will be passed on from one employee to another employee so you'll get to know the total labor cost of that particular productional work next time and job card yes in time and job card you'll get to know about two informations so which are those one thing what is the arrival and what is the departure time and the second thing what is the number of hours worked okay how many number of hours worked that information you also get in time and job card so in time and job card you'll get to know about the arrival and departure of an employee and also you'll get to know about how many hours the employee worked accurately with respect to a particular work so these are different types of time booking what we have under cost accounting next moving further wage system so what is this wage system a system of wage payment which takes care of both which takes care of both providing guarantee of minimum wages as well as offering incentives to efficient workers helps to motivate the workers to a great extent yes wage system is nothing but it is a system where it guarantees where it guarantees the minimum wages as well as it also offers you the incentives for your effective work the following are the various methods of payment of wages yes mainly in this particular chapter in labor cost we are going to use two methods to find out the wages of a particular employee so in that the first thing is remuneration on time basis 
remuneration on piece work basis and bonus system yes we make the payments to the employees based on remuneration of on time basis so whatever the time is going to work for how many hours is going to work on is number of hours we are going to pay the salary to that particular employee if the employee worked for 9 hours then we pay him for 9 hours if he worked for 7 hours we pay him for 7 hours so remuneration on time basis so based upon how many hours you worked you'll get the salary next remuneration on piece work so here time will not work how many products you produced in a day how many number of units products you produced in a day on that basis we are going to pay the salary to the employees if we produce 10 units then we pay him for 10 units produced if we produced you know 20 units we pay him for 20 units produced so remuneration on piece work basis next bonus system in case if he is working hard for example i have given i have given him the work to complete 10 units but he manufactured 15 units so here he produced extra 5 units so for that 5 units i am going to give him bonus that is called bonus system next thing mainly we pay the wages based on two formulas one is wholesale plan the second one is rowan plan so based on two plans we pay the salary to the employees the wages to the employees based upon the wholesale plan and rowan plan so what is this wholesale plan the standard time for completion of a job is fixed okay the standard time for completion of job is fixed and the rate per hour is then determined yes the standard time is fixed to produce the product and also the rate per hour is also fixed if the time taken by the worker is more than standard time then it shall be paid according to the time rate yes in case if the employee takes more than the standard time okay for example I have fixed the standard time of 10 hours, but you have taken 12 hours. Okay. So at this point of time, the employee will be paid based on the time rate system. So time taken multiplied by rate per hour. Time taken multiplied by rate per hour. Next, in wholesale plan, the time wages are guaranteed even if the output of worker is below the standard. In wholesale plan, the employee will get the wages based upon whatever the time spent by the employee to produce the product. Even if he is not going to produce, even if he is not going to produce the guaranteed output, but still he will be getting the wages based upon whatever the time spent to produce. In case the worker completes the work in less than the standard time, then he will be paid according to the actual time example time rate plus bonus calculated at a specified percentage of the saved time or hour so here if the employee come, you know, takes more than the actual time more than the standard time then on you know on hourly basis the payment will be given in case for example we allotted him 8 hours but he completed the work in 6 hours right for extra 2 hours we are going to pay the bonus to the employee so what is the formula under wholesale plan to calculate the wages it is very simple the formula is time taken into time taken into hourly rate so what is the time taken into hourly rate plus plus of of time saved into hourly rate of time saved into hourly rate so time taken into hourly rate for example what is the time taken 10 hours for example so into hourly rate 100 rupees how much you will get 10 hours into 100 rupees obviously you will get 1000 so here time saved for example 2 hours and hourly rate is 100 so 200 half of 200 is 100 so 100 plus 1000 totally 1100 is going to be his total wages so for saving the time is going to get half of his wages so the formula is very simple under wholesale plan to compute the wages the formula is time taken into hourly rate 
plus half time saved into hourly rate. So here you can say TT is nothing but time taken, HR is nothing but hourly rate and TS is nothing but time saved. Next one, row 1 plan. So what is this row 1 plan? Under row 1 plan, the standard time for the completion of job and the rate per hour is fixed. So standard time is fixed and rate per hour is also fixed. If the time taken by the worker, if the time taken by the worker is more than the standard time, then he is paid according to time rate. Okay. If he is taking more time to complete the work, then the payment will be paid based on the time spent. Next, time taken multiplied by the rate per hour. Yes, the time taken by the employee into per hour value. So what is the formula under row 1 plan? The formula is very easy. Time taken into hourly rate, time taken into hourly rate plus time saved, time saved divided by standard time, divided by standard time into time taken into hourly rate, time taken into hourly rate. So time taken into hourly rate plus time saved divided by standard time and time taken into hourly rate. So this is the formula under row 1 plan. So if you start solving the problem under different formulas, it will be easy to you and you will get to understand about how to use the formulas. So yes, with this I am going to wind up this session. So we will meet in the upcoming sessions. So until then, thank you all. Have a nice day.